called this getting to the heart of your customers. Because you know all you all know a lot about service and we know that really good customer service is common sense. That's a, at one level, or it should be. For professional people like yourself, you, you understand what is needed and what is required to provide service in, in whatever sort of business or profession you're involved in. But at another level, customer service is really complex because we're talking about human behaviour and humans are so varied and what makes one happy puts another one off. You know, one thinks we're over attentive and hassling them and another thinks we're not giving them nearly enough attention. So it's a real challenge at another level when we're thinking that this is human behavior and we have to get a real understanding of human behavior in order to make an impact with, with service. So that's why I'm calling this getting to the heart of your, your customers. And I'm going to back it up with some examples, some anecdotes, uh, but also touch on the research that is happening today to get us to understand that some of the assumptions we might have about service aren't necessarily the case. The first thing, because I'm a customer service specialist, I'm often asked what I reckon is really the essence of good service. You know, is it about friendliness? Yeah, well that's important. Is it about consistency? That's vital. Under-promising and over-delivering? That's an important part of service for sure. Wowing the customer? Yes, we want to do that to take them out of themselves and make them realize it's special. But all of those are ingredients of, of something else. To me, the essence of good service is having the customer feeling, because they're unlikely to verbalize this, but feeling, I feel better about myself when I'm with you. I feel better about myself for having chosen to do business with you and your organization. So as providers of customer service, it isn't about us being great, us being wonderful, and us being consistent. It's actually about how the customer feels within themselves when they deal with us. Because they have many choices. And as I said, they'd be unlikely to verbalize that, but it's there. So if we can positively influence people to feel better about themselves when they're with us, they will look at us through rose-colored glasses. They will see the best of us, and they will tell others about the best of us, which is what we want. And when there are these occasional slip-ups that are going to happen in any organization, they'll be far more forgiving of us, too all because we've made them feel better about having made a decision to, to, to deal with us. You know, how can you tell, though, if you're really getting to the heart of, of, of your customers? You, you, you've got to have listening systems. You've got to have ways of tuning in. You've got to be looking at people's body language and seeing are they happy or aren't they. And if they aren't raising the issue, is something the matter? Finding out what's, what's happening. And, and we need as many listening systems as, as, as possible. Uh, whether that's uh, uh, additional things like mystery shopping, focus groups, discussions, uh, surveys. We've got to find out regularly what today's customers are feeling about us and what the different customer types we deal with are feeling about us. What